All right, hello everybody. This will be a video on the um, two models that we have for the diencephalon, this area on the top here, and the brainstem, which consists of the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. Brainstem, diencephalon, all this area up here. Okay, this is one of the models that we have off a of brain model. And then we have the Darth Vader, Darth Vader chew toy model of the same thing. So midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata, brainstem. And here we have the diencephalon area all the way, right below the, this is the corpus callosum, right below it, um, going all the way to the midbrain, um, is the diencephalon. Um, we call this the Darth Vader chew toy model because it kind of looks like Darth Vader and it feels like it would squeak if you pressed it. Um, it's a neat little model that we have. But let's go over both of these and why are we going over these models and I'll try to keep my hands steady as much as possible. My um, videographer is not here today. But okay, so when you get to this page and this is page 60 in your lab manual when it says gross anatomy it says you need to use models to find some of these structures uh, or to be able to find them on cadaver pictures or models um, and, this, and once you get to the brain section of it um, there's so many different features and all the features we're going to talk about in these two models are spread out uh, between these three pages right here here's the last two pages um, so be on the lookout for these features in these three pages for gross anatomy we're also going to be oh here's a very interesting page that's going to talk about what organs are in the diencephalon um, and what's in the midbrain and what's in the hindbrain or the brain stem. Um, well, it's it's uh, not particularly saying all the brain stem, like cerebellum is not part of the brain stem. Um, but what I just told you is the brain, so the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. But this is cool, this is cool how it separates all the different parts of the brain out, especially from where they embryologically um, develop from. Um, but what we're most concerned about is this page right here. This is the cranial nerve page, okay? You guys are gonna love this page. Um, it has 12 different nerves on it. It's gonna tell you the name of the nerve and the number that it is. Like cranial nerve one here is the olfactory nerve. And its function has to do with um, the sensory function uh, for smelling, Old, olfaction. And it'll also tell you the origin of it and the exit foramina for the nerve. Um, but you don't need to know that. It's just for your information only for context. You see how there's an asterisk next to it. Also, this trigeminal branch, cranial nerve 5, has three branches. But all those branches have asterisks near them. It means it's just for your information only. But you will need to know the number of the nerve, um, the name of it, and its function. And, you know, just use this chart. You know, you can also use uh, whatever function you find in the APR website. That's good, too. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So why don't we just start out with the cranial nerves. i right, make sure my hand is not too shaky here. All right, I want to give you guys like seasickness through shaking my phone here. All right, we have, we actually don't have cranial nerve one that's uh, farther anterior, the olfactory nerve, cranial nerve one, but we can start here at the opti optic chiasm uh, with cranial nerve two, um, this is okay. This is yeah, optic, the optic nerve. Okay, coming down off that, then you have cranial nerve three, the oculomotor nerve, on the side here. Then you have the cranial nerve four, the trochlear nerve. Cranial nerve five, the trigeminal nerve, and its three branches. Cranial nerve six, um, the abducens nerve. Cranial nerve seven, facial nerve. And then all the way on the side here is cranial nerve eight, vestibulococular nerve. Okay? Um, I'm just going to double check myself as I'm doing this. All right, the hypoglossal nerve whoop, uh, is actually right here. See if I can get a better view of that, so you can see where I'm pointing. 
this one right here. Below it, um, cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve, all of this. Cranial nerve 11, all of this, the accessory nerve. Cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal nerve. All right, so that's the cranial nerve. So let's, let's, let's look at some of the structures that we have here. All right, what can we see? Well, here's two parts of the thalami. There's two thalami. Uh, we're seeing the head of the caudate nucleus. We're seeing the internal capsule coming out here. You're seeing a little bit a part of the insula, which is that uh, there's a really large sulcus that comes in to lead to these gyri in the insula. Okay, optic chiasm. Here's your cerebral peduncles your pons, your medulla oblongata with the decusation happening where the axons are crossing over. Um, here are the pyramids of the medulla oblongata. This red part, the olive, the olives of the medulla oblongata. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything here. It looks like we are good. All right, so let's go to the posterior side of this model. Whoop. There we go. All right, here we're having the two thalami. Uh, just right above it, this pink line, all the way down to this little red pink bump. This is the epithalamus, and this is the pineal gland, which is part of the epithalamus. Here we're, we're seeing the like tail end. It's actually called the tail of the caudate nucleus. Uh, more internal capsule right here, insula. All right, here's the corpora, whoa, corpora quadrigemina. And you have to say that really fast so you can memorize it better. Corpora quadrigemina. I'm like try to say it like three times fast. Um, so here's the superior colliculi, two of them. One superior colliculus, the singular. Um, just like with thalami, one would be the thalamus. Um, inferior colliculi of the corpora quadrigemina. All right. And then here, this space right here is actually the fourth ventricle. So this would be filled with cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, you'll have the lateral apertures and then the medial aperture going in and medial, kind of poking out immediately. Um, and these are the cerebellar peduncles leading to the cerebellum. They'd be going out this way towards the cerebellum posteriorly. Oh, these little blue lines right here, is actually, they're actually trying to show some chord plexus. That's what's making the cerebral spinal fluid, remember. All right. Um, so I think I missed something on the side. Oh, yes, I did. I always forget about these, but the mammillary bodies. I went back to the anterior side. I just wanted to remind you that these two are the mammillary bodies. Um, there's only two little bumps on the anterior side, the mammillary bodies, but four little bumps on the posterior side of the midbrain, the corpora quadrigemina. So it's like a little bit of a contrast in numbers there. Um, let's look at the side. Side view of this. So we're seeing the insula, all the gyri of the insula, and the internal capsule coming out, which will eventually lead to the corona radiata. So the axons making their way to some gray matter in the uh, cerebrum. So let's take this part off. Okay, what we're seeing here is the patumen of the lentiform nucleus, which is connected here, has these little connections to the caudate nucleus, or the head and the tail end of the caudate nucleus. And let's go to the other side, let's leave that piece off. So the insula again, internal capsule, coming out, and then we're seeing the globus pallidus, which is like inside of the patumen. Uh, it's part of the lentiform nucleus. And by the way, both of the caudate and lentiform nuclei are basal nuclei. Um, I'm just kind of breaking down the basal nuclei uh, as far as you need to know for the class. And here we have more internal capsule going through. All right, so that is looking good. I think we covered everything on this model that we possibly could. But now um, let's look at the Darth Vader chew toy. toy put that aside. Um, let's try to do the same thing. 
Okay, here's the basal nuclei. Again, corpus callosum. So right now we're talking about the diencephalon. Um, septum pellucidum right here. Optic chiasm. You have the cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve. Go to my cheat sheet real quick. Make sure I'm saying these right. Okay, optic nerve down here. Um, oh, here are your mammary bodies. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here are your mammary bodies before I forget. And then cranial nerve 3, oculomotor nerve. Cranial nerve 4, the trochlear nerve, is this little sneaky one right here, right on the cerebral uh, peduncle here. And then the trigeminal nerve, which is cranial nerve 5, and there's three branches. Cranial nerve 6, abducens. Cranial nerve 7, the facial nerve. Cranial nerve 8, vestibulo cochlear nerve. Um, all right. This one right here, um, page, glossal, glossopharyngeal nerve, cranial nerve, oh, sorry guys, totally put my finger in the way there, but yeah, cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal nerve, um, this has been broken off, but if we look on this side, this is cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve, um, then cranial nerve 11, it's this part right here. The accessory nerve has kind of been broken off here, but cranial nerve 11, and then cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal nerve. And then we're seeing the same structures that we saw before. So I talked about the mammillary bodies and the cerebral peduncles, the pons, pyramids of the medulla oblongata, the olives, basal nuclei, uh, look at a side view here. Let's go to the posterior view. Let's do the same thing as we did before. Pineal gland. Here's the thalami. Epithalamus. Pineal gland. Uh, a superior colliculus. Inferior colliculus. Um, cerebellar peduncle. Cerebellar peduncle. Um, fourth ventricle. Lateral aperture. Medial aperture going down here. They kind of broke... We don't need to know all these internal structures, but they broke into this side right here. I um, guess they were trying to show a little bit of the cerebral aqueduct, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, that's that's pretty good. That's all we need to know. Oh, by the way, this they're showing the outline of the caudate nucleus. All right, here's the internal capsule, eventually to the corona radiata, the basal nuclei, corpus callosum. All right. Yeah, same thing on this side. This one's a little bit more simpler, but more fun. Because it looks like Darth Vader. All right, I'll see you on the next video. And look out for an answer key for these on my website. All right, see you on the next video.